stepped up, not just because he was in there, but, I mean, because he made us want to play better, too. Right, right. Now, who came up with the name of the band? Honestly, a friend of mine did. We were, and uh, he, he actually named a few bands in our area, too. He named a band called I'm Disaster. He named a band called The Acacia Strain, which is actually a big metal band. And um, he, I don't know, we were just bouncing. We were actually texting ideas back and forth. And uh, we came we came up with, he came up with that idea. And I was like, oh, I like that. I like it because, to me, I, I don't really necessarily want it to mean one thing, Gone by Daylight. I kind of, mm-hmm. I like the fact it could mean a lot of different things, whatever you want it to mean, pretty much. I mean, a lot of people have, like, a general idea and they look at it in a sort of, I don't know, scandalous approach. But I think it could be anything, you know? I think it, I think it could be anything. <laughs> yeah, I I think of you guys playing all night long, and then you're gone by daylight to go get some rest. So <laughs> that that works too. That that you know that that works too. And we've we've used that on tour. It's been a little like joke of ours on tour. You know, we always try to be gone by daylight, and we've left certain notes at people's houses when they've let us stay over. You know, uh-huh. of before they got up, or <laughs> usually they're up uh-huh. we are when you're on tour. You're up, you're up pretty yeah. late. <laughs> now, did singing come easy to you, or did you end up taking lessons for that? Um, singing did not come easy for me at first. Um, I I got like kind of lumped into it. I used, to, I mean, I always wrote songs and sang by myself in my room since I was like 12 years old. But we we had like in our first run of the band or of bands together um we had another kid singing uh and he basically like he wasn't as dedicated for us so i would started singing like by accident kind of like when he wouldn't show up i would start singing and then that kind of uh-huh. i kind of just fell into it and i i always felt like i was more of a guitar player at first and for years throughout high school i was i was still like you know i sang lead vocals in the band but we didn't know really what we were doing. We played our amps so loud i didn't even know what i sounded like yeah and <laughs> i think by the time i turned 21 I started playing out acoustic, and I was like, whoa, so that's what I sound like, and I, I, I really, like, just kind of learned by playing, and, like, I would play these shows for, like, three hours at a time and sing by myself, and I had to figure out how to make my voice last and how to make it sound good and find the right keys for me, and I, I learned so much about singing just by doing it, like, every night by myself. I mean, there was a point in time where I did take lessons, and uh, I took it with this nine-year-old woman. She taught classical, and she was trying to teach me, and I, I the, the main thing I got out of working with her was just she taught me the importance of breathing. Mhm. Right. And that whole thing, and I think I learned that the most from her. But everything else I learned about my voice has pretty much been kind of just trial and error, and just doing it and figuring out what works and what doesn't work for you. I mean, everybody's well, I voice think is I think you were born with the talent, and you just didn't mm-hmm. you know didn't know how to use it at one point, and just by practicing yeah. and having that little bit of training help bring you to where you are now and you've got an amazing voice i mean i was just listening to your music again last night i can't even tell you how many times i've listened to want to take a ride (laughs) i'm serious i just love it you've got an awesome voice now another thing that i i love about you guys is the description that you use in your bio who came up with that um the bio is kind of half ours and then um some people that are are uh we were affiliated with a small publishing company called Hype Music, Extreme Music, and um, they they kind of put together the, that version of the bio for us. I thought they, they did a good job. It was very short, to the point. Definitely. And, uh, I liked it. I liked it. it. It's a fun read. You know, it's it makes you yeah. want to learn more about you guys and, and your music. So, you know, if that's yeah. what somebody yeah. sees initially, it's going to catch them and bring, you know, curiosity to it. So, that's yeah, a good thing. I never like reading bios that are like super, super long. I like to just like something to reel me in and then let the music speak for itself, you know? Yeah, yours is one of the shortest ones I've read, but it's also <laughs> one of the better ones that I've read, too. <laughs> so. Cool. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Here, next time, you yeah. know, we ever do another bio or an updated bio, because we're always changing them here and there. But I'm, uh, well, I like yeah, the one definitely you have short now. Better, but, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now, mm-hmm. you released an EP called Riff. Uh, did you all collaborate on the music and the lyrics, or is there one of you that's better at coming up with lyrics or the music, and then you go from there? Um, well, it's, it's, the EP is actually called Big Riff. 
Or big and, room, uh, sorry. It's, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's fun. It's uh, the, it's based off the title track of the, the EP. Mm-hmm. And um, as far as those that batch of songs, that was written in one time period of my life. I wrote those songs when I was younger. Um, I was about 19 or 20 when I wrote those songs. And uh, we finally, you know, we, they came out a long time ago, and we, we decided to re-put them out with Jeff and, like, kind of just the new sound that we have now. And I, I actually put it out before I even could really sing is the way I sing now. Mm-hmm. So we decided to, like, redo those songs. And those songs I wrote mostly on my own, um, just in my bedroom at work. <laughs> like, I, <Yeah. laughs> I would uh, sneak in the break room and write lyrics. And any any spare chance I got, I was working on those songs for a while. But, um, mm-hmm. you know, songwriting is very – there's so many approaches we take. There's There's no right way. There's no wrong way. And there's so many different ways to do it. I mean, sometimes songs – I mean, sometimes I'll write a song on an acoustic guitar. I mean, I'll have it all mapped out and ready to go, and I'll bring it to the band, and then we'll pick it from there. Sometimes the band will be just jamming, not even really knowing what we're doing, just playing together, and something cool will happen, and then we'll I'll kind of like, oh, without my iPhone, hit hit the voice memo app and press record, and then I capture it, and later on we listen to what's cool and what's not, and we make a song together, and I'll write lyrics over it afterwards, or sometimes Jordan will come with a riff to practice and be like, hey, I got this, and then I'll be like, oh, that's cool, well, why don't we put this with it? You know, it's it's always very, very different. Um as far as the lyrics and the the vocals, that's always me. Okay. I mean, okay. Um, yeah, it's always me. And uh, I once in a while, you know, once in a while though, somebody will somebody will text me like or call me up and be like, hey, I got this line. What do you, you think you could fit it in something? And I mm-hmm. I haven't fit anything into the songs that you've heard yet, but one of these days I'm sure I will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I always appreciate the guys' input and, and vice versa. Right. Right. Now, did you produce and edit the uh, EP yourselves, or did you have that done somewhere else? We we produced uh, the EP ourselves. Um, Jeff did the, the rec- most of the recording, and he did all the editing. He's uh, he's really good at that. We had another guy uh, mix it. Uh, his name is Rob Beaton out in L.A. He's done a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stuff for movies and TV and some really cool records. But he um, we did all the recording, and then he mixed it out there. Well, that's a really good job. I mean, you guys do the majority of it yourself. There's a lot of bands that can't do that, so you have a lot yeah. of talent within yourselves. It takes a lot. I mean, it took a lot of time, but, you know, it's it's really not – I mean, Jeff's really good at what he does, but, you know, if you have the, a good engineer, you can pull a record together for, you know, on your own pretty well, especially with today's technology. And, well, and yeah, I was just going to say. The ways to record. Mm-hmm. Right. There's so much out there now. You know, people have their home studios that are, you know, basically set up in their bedroom or their basement or yep. something and, yeah. and can put out a full album that they've completely done by themselves. Yeah, it's true. And a lot of those albums are even on the radio. People have made records in their basements, mm-hmm. on, and you hear it everywhere. I mean, Jeff's got a studio in his room. Much better than mine. I'm starting to build one right now. And a lot of the stuff we've tracked, has been in those kind of scenarios. Like once in a while, we'll go into uh, we'll go into a real studio for like drums and stuff. Like that's the kind of stuff you really have to have a good room sound for, and mm-hmm. that's stuff that really matters. But you know, as far as get, you can track vocals and guitars anywhere. Right. You know, recently I know of another musician that actually recorded a song off his iPad, and I found that amazing. Yep. <laughs> Oh yeah, I no, didn't realize totally you could do that. I mean, I know you can listen to music off and of stuff like that, but I didn't know that you could record a song that way. Yeah, and and this stuff like having an iPad or iPhone, it's made it so much easier to, to just not lose an idea, you know. And there's, there, there right. were so many times in the past before those were invented, I would come up with an idea and I would forget it so fast. Yeah, I'd, I'd have the best little thing. Now you can just pull it out, hum it in, hum it in there, play it real quick, and it's there. You can always go back to it. I mean, before the iPhone, I used to carry around, like, a digital battery-powered four-track recorder, so in case I had an idea, I could just oh. <laughs> pull it out of my backpack. But it beats, you know, the thing was, like, not very it, – it was com- it was compact, but I hated having to carry that around with me every time I went. Right. <laughs> well, uh, just think about what they did before that. They had to carry around cassette players, and they had to write things down oh, with an actual pen and paper, you know, and – or maybe yeah, a napkin, depending on where they were when they came up with this song in their head. So yeah. <laughs> you got it I mean, I still, easy. <laughs> I still do that though. I always I like 
I, I do, like, capture, like, certain, I'll write certain lyrics on my iPhone or on my laptop, but I always like to have a notebook. Cause I just like to, I don't know, I've always enjoyed just writing in general. And I like mm-hmm. to have it in one place. Because, you know, when it's on your phone, it gets deleted or just adds up. Or it's on your computer, it just, it's, it's, you're less likely to, like, go back and read it. I like to, I always like to have a notebook. Like, I carry a backpack with me everywhere I go that has, mm-hmm. <laughs> I have, like, a, a life bag. I basically live, no matter if I'm on tour or if I'm not, I live like I am. I have everything I need right. in my backpack, and I, I don't go anywhere without that and my acoustic guitar. Oh, God forbid you lose that backpack. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I've, I've washed the backpack before. This is, like, the fourth oh. backpack that I've had my fourth life bag. But, um, yeah, the, the first, I lost one once, and it was it was not good. No, I had I can't. in there. I had money in there. I, guess I had song, notebooks in there. I was not a happy camper when that happened. Right, right. Well, the money's one thing, but with your music in there, that's a whole other thing. That was you more know, important, you yeah. You know, that's hard to replace if you don't have it backed up somewhere else. So Mm -hmm. always back up everything. Everywhere you can think of doing it, anywhere you can think of doing (laughs) it, just do it. I know. I do that. I mean, I I do that now. If I write something in my notebook, I put it right into the computer. If I have it in the computer, I put it right in the notebook. I always have it. Yeah, because, you know, computers crash all the time, too. I mean, I hate to talk about the bad things, but it's reality, you know. I've had that happen to me, too. I I do a lot of work for both of my shows, and a lot of it's on Word doc, you know, as far as, like, questions and songs and things like that. And, And all of a sudden, you know, my computer will just shut down for God knows what reason, and I've lost all that, and then i got to start all over again if it's not been saved at that point. Um, or it completely crashes, and then you lose it all together. Oh, my God, I just can't even imagine that. I'm scaring myself as I speak. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So let's take Nightmare. a quick break, and I'd like to play Big Riff for our listeners so they can hear what you guys sound like, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, hold on. Hold on. 